Welcome back to my New York Jets franchise rebuild here on Madden 24, and today we're in the AFC Championship game. In the wildcard round, we had a high-scoring shootout with the Kansas City Chiefs where we won in overtime 51-48, and then in the divisional round, we went into Denver and took care of business 27-10, and now we get to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers in the AFC Championship. And they are being led by an 82 overall Mac Jones at quarterback. At running back is going to be a 90 overall in Najee Harris. Over at wide receiver is a 91 in George Pickens, an 85 in Ladd McConkey, and an 85 in Deontay Johnson. At tight ends, a 91 overall in Pat Fryermuth. Left tackle is going to be an 82. Left guard is an 84. Center is an 82. Right guard is going to be an 85. And right tackle is also going to be an 85. Then over on defense, they have a 75 overall left end. At right end is a 76 overall. Defensive tackle is going to be an 80 overall. Outside linebacker is a 99 in TJ Watt. Middle linebacker is a 79. Right outside linebacker is a 92 in Alex Highsmith. At corner is an 87 in Joey Porter Jr. And an 85 in Byron Murphy Jr. At free safety is a 97 in Minka Fitzpatrick. And strong safety is an 84 overall. The only upgrade we're going to go over before getting into this game is defensive tackle Dexter Atkins. We're going to up his run stopper with his morale boost right now. He's up to an 89 overall, but here he gets plus one to block shedding, play wreck, and two to tackle. We do have a bit of other news though, and that is with defensive end Lucas Van Ness. As you can see, he is now a superstar dev trade. I've been using him in the weekly training the entire time that we've had him, and you can see here he actually got that dev trade increase. We will unfortunately be without star corner Sauce Gardner because he has a broken finger and is going to miss this game, but if we manage to win without him, he should be back for the Super Bowl, but obviously we need to get by this game first. It is now time to get the AFC Championship game underway as we will get the ball first as they send this one deep. We'll field it in the end zone. Alvin Kamara brings it out and won't even make it back to the 20-yard line. So quarterback Jared McDonald in the offense will start at our own 17-yard line. He comes out under center. Brees Hall is the running back, and it's a play fake to him, and TJ Watt will bury him on the very first play. All right, try to put that one behind us. Now a second and 17 from our own 10-yard line. We're going to send our fullback Heron in motion. It'll be another play fake to Brees Hall. McDonald throws on the run. That's going to be caught by the fullback, and that's going to set up a third and nine with a seven-yard pass. To avoid the three and out, we come out in shotgun. Brees Hall is in the backfield still. McDonald will look to pass. It's going to be a screen to the outside. Caught by Hall. Can he get the blocking? Yes, he will. And he gets the first down to keep this drive alive. A solid rebound following the sack on the first play. Now a first and 10. Another pass play going downfield. That one's going to fall incomplete. But there is a flag down. And it's going to be pass interference on the defense. So that will move us all the way up to our own 40-yard line now. We come back in shotgun again. Alvin Kamara checks into the game, and that's where we go with it. He's following his blocks to the outside and gets a five-yard carry. Now McDonald back in shotgun again. Brees Hall is in the backfield. He will take the snap and looks to go deep downfield probably. Rolling to the outside. Needs to get rid of it. Never mind. He's just going to take off, and he's going to get brought down to set up a third and one at the Steelers' 49. Now, me personally, I would probably just give this one to Brees Hall and convert this, but we'll see what we actually end up doing. We come out in a shotgun set. Hall is in the backfield. McDonald will look to pass, and he's stepping up in the pocket, now rolling to the outside again, and not trying to buy some time. I don't know what he's doing, but he finally takes off for the first down to the 47. It looked like he was going to step up in the pocket, then looked like he was going to roll to the outside, and finally just took off. And on the next play, we give a handoff to Brees Hall, who goes to the outside, has some great blocking, jukes out of man, has the first down, and is finally brought down to the 35-yard line on his first carry of the day. On the following play, Alvin Kamara would check in and get a three-yard gain, so now it's a second and seven at the 33. Kamara's still in the game. It's going to be a quick throw to the outside. That'll be caught, and that is going to be a first down to Kyle Boykin, our rookie receiver. Now we come out in a five-wide set. McDonald all alone in the backfield. Will looks to pass. Going over the middle, he finds Brendan Rice, and he's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. We will strike first today. Then Mac Jones and the Steelers' offense will take the field at their own 25-yard line. Najee Harris is lined up in the backfield. It's a fake to Najee. Now he's under pressure, and Jermaine Johnson is going to get a sack on the Steelers' first offensive play. We'll see if they can rebound like our offense did. Now a second and 17. It's a toss to the outside, and Jermaine Johnson in the backfield again, setting up a third and 22. An obvious passing situation where they could run the ball and punt it away, but Mac Jones will drop back to pass. He's dropping farther back. He's going to load up and go deep downfield. Does he have a man? It's into double coverage, and it's knocked away by Malik Hooker. They should punt this one back to the Jets. 
We end up with some really good field position following the punt. We start our own 49 yard line. We come out in shotgun. Brees Hall is the running back and it's going to be a read option to the outside and McDonald will keep it himself and get brought down for a seven yard carry. Honestly, to me, it looked like had he broke that to the outside, he may have had a much bigger run. But now on second down, McDonald will drop back to the pass and he's going downfield to a wide open Brock Bowers and we are all the way down to the Steelers 24 yard line. It's going to be another shotgun set and I see no one lined up over Garrett Wilson. This could be really bad. We'll drop back to the pass. He's going to Garrett Wilson who is wide open and he's going to get brought down inside the five yard line. A first and goal from the three. That's going to set up a goal line set and Brees Hall is lined up at running back. I imagine that's where this ball is going and it is but he's met immediately and brought down in the backfield. That's going to set up a second and goal now at the five yard line. We come out with a goal line set again. It's another handoff to Brees Hall. This one going a lot better. He breaks that tackle and a touchdown for the Jets as we go up 14 nothing. The Steelers offense did not get off to a great start. Let's see if they rebound on this drive. First and 10 from their own 25. Mac Jones with a quick throw to the outside and that one's going to fall incomplete. Now a second and 10. They come out with a five wide set. Still their own 25 yard line. Jones is all alone in the backfield. He'll take the snap and looks to pass. He's going to lob this one deep down the right side. That one will be incomplete. Even had he caught it, he was out of bounds. Another possible three and out for the Steelers offense. It's a third and 10. Once again, a five wide set. Jones will take the snap and looks to pass again. Standing in the pocket. Now finally firing this one over the middle. Finds his man wide open all the way to about the 50 yard line. A 24 yard play. Mac Jones will throw an incomplete pass on the next play. So now a second and 10. Back in shotgun again, he'll drop back and he throws this one to the outside. He finds his man and that's going to be the first down to the 35 yard line of the Jets. In case you were curious, that was Ladd McConkey on the catch. So now a first and 10. He lines up under center, Najee Harris is in the backfield. Will they give it to him? Yes, they will right up the middle and he's going to get met and fight his way forward for a four yard run. At the 31 yard line, he comes out under center again. Najee Harris is still in the backfield. He'll drop back to pass though. And let's see where he wants to go with this one. He's rolling to the outside under pressure. Throws on the run and cannot find his man. Third down. See if he can convert on this play. All alone in the backfield. We'll drop back and look to pass. He's throwing this one to the outside. And that one's going to be knocked out of Najee's hands to bring up a fourth down. This has been an absolutely awful start for Mac Jones. He is two of eight so far. But they will bring out their kicker to try to make it a 14 to three game. The kick is away and it is good. We will now jump in on the Jets next drive where it is a third and 10 at the Steelers 49 yard line here in the second quarter. Out of a shotgun set, McDonald looking to keep the drive alive and he's trying to buy some time but he's going to get sacked on the play and we will have to punt this one back to Pittsburgh. But we will make them start at their own six yard line so let's see if they can get out of danger here. It's going to be a handoff to Najee Harris to the outside and they are definitely out of danger with a nine yard carry. Later on in the drive they face a third and five now at their own 25. Back in a five wide set yet again. I feel like I've said five a lot. Mac Jones will look to throw. He's dropping farther back. He's under a lot of pressure and he's going to get sacked on the play by Quinn and Williams and Lucas Van Ness. They will punt this one away. However, we might be facing a three and out here. It's a third and two at our own 49. McDonald's lined up under center. Hall is the running back and they give it to Hall right up the middle and he will keep this drive moving into Steelers territory. On the next play, Alvin Kamara would check in and get a four yard run. So now it's a second and six at the Steelers 40. McDonald will look to pass going downfield and open Brock Bowers for the first down all the way to the 27. McDonald back in a shotgun set one more time. Brees Hall is in the backfield. See if we give it to him on this play. It will be a fake to Hall. McDonald looking to go downfield. He's going to let this one rip down the sideline and it will be incomplete. Second and 10. McDonald back in shotgun again. Brees Hall is still in the backfield. Will we give it to him here? No, it's another play action. Once again, letting it rip downfield, and that one's going to fall incomplete. And I've said let it rip twice now on two plays in a row. Probably don't need to make a habit out of that one, but now a third and 10. From the 27-yard line, McDonald will drop back and look to pass again. Staying in the pocket, throws to the outside, caught by Brees Hall. He breaks that tackle and gets the first down to the 13 to keep the drive alive. On the next play would be an incomplete pass, so it's a second and 10 now. McDonald back in shotgun. Brees Hall is still the running back, but he'll drop back to pass. He's going to the back corner of the end zone, and he finds Jalen Waddle. Touchdown, Jets. We're up 21-3. This was an absolutely beautiful ball for McDonald to give us an 18-point lead right there in the back corner of the end zone. Waddle really didn't do much in the regular season. I think he only had one or two touchdowns. He has been massive in the playoffs. 
the Steelers might be facing a three and out and possibly have to give the ball back to us. A third and six from their own 29. Jones is back in shotgun. He'll drop back and looks to pass downfield. He's dropping farther back. Now rolling to the outside, trying to buy some time. And he will finally just throw this one away. Following the punt, we get to take over at our own 31-yard line with 321 and all three timeouts remaining here in the half. On the first play, McDonald's going to go deep downfield and that's going to get knocked away from Brendan Rice. We went for a shot on play number one. That leads to a second and 10. McDonald is back in shotgun again. Brees Hall is in at running back here. He'll take the snap. It's a handoff to Hall who goes to the outside and he's got some solid blocking and turns that into a nine-yard carry to set up a third and one. Can we avoid a three and out of our own? Alvin Kamara is in the backfield. But it's a quick pass to the outside, and that's going to be caught and held onto by Jalen Waddle through a couple hits all the way to the 50-yard line. With about 2.18 to go here in the half, we're back in shotgun again. It's a handoff to Brees Hall to the outside, and Hall will cut back in and end up with a first down carry to the 40-yard line. That should take us down to the two-minute warning. Just a couple plays after that, it is now a third and six at the 36. With about a minute 10 to go here in the half, we are out in a five-wide set. McDonald will look to pass. Staying in the pocket, trying to buy some time. Throws underneath, caught by Garrett Wilson, who will have the first down to the 29-yard line. Or are we going to burn a timeout here? We actually would burn the timeout, but not until 46 seconds left on the clock. So now from the 29-yard line, from under center, McDonald looks a pass going deep over the middle. He's got a wide open Brendan Rice all the way down to the 2-yard line for a first and goal. That would cause us to burn our second timeout with 36 seconds to go here in the first half. From the 2-yard line in a goal line set, It'll be a handoff to Brees Hall, who's going to get met immediately, and now it'll be a second and goal from the two. This time it's going to be an eye formation, but Jalen Waddle is at the top of your screen. McDonald lines up under center. It'll be another handoff to Brees Hall right at the middle, and this time he is into the end zone. We are up 28-3 right before halftime. We now jump into the second half, where the Steelers would get the ball first, but have driven all the way down to the Jets' 25-yard line. Jones out of shock, and a quick throw to the outside will be caught for the first down to the 13. Has the Steelers offense finally woken up in this game, now down by 25 points. From under center, Jones will take the snap. It'll be a play pick to Najee Harris. Now staying in the pocket, throws to the outside, caught by his tight end, who will be met immediately and brought down for just a two-yard play. Second and eight now from the 11-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Jones will take the snap and look to go downfield. Dropping farther back, now rolling to the outside. He finally lets this one go, and it's just throwing it away through the back of the end zone. It's going to be another five-wide set for the Steelers here. Jones will take the snap all alone in the backfield. He's going to go to the back of the end zone, but once again just puts it out of bounds. And you know, down by 25 points, I would think that they would want to go for this one to try to, you know, add some more points to the board, but I will take them kicking a field goal and making it 28-6. to six. But on the following drive, we do face a possible three now. It's a third and six from our own 29. He'll drop back to pass a quick third to the outside, and that'll keep this drive alive thanks to Jalen Waddle. However, just a couple plays after that, it's now a third and 15 from our own 34. McDonald going deep over the middle to a wide open Garrett Wilson and will once again convert on third down. But we will end up facing another one on this drive. Just a couple plays later, it's now a third and five with a five wide set. McDonald will take the snap and look to go to the air. It's a quick throw caught by Brendan Rice who holds on through the hit and we have the first down. A quick incomplete pass on the next play brings up a second and 10. Now under pressure, and he's going to get sacked on the play to bring up a third and 13. So we'll face yet another third down. And it'll be a shotgun formation for us. Brees Hall is lined up in the backfield from the Steelers' 36-yard line and make it a third and 18 because that's going to be a false start. We are going to come back out in a shotgun formation again, though. McDonald will look to pass. He steps up in the pocket, running along the line of scrimmage. Probably should just throw this one away. Never mind. He's going to take the sack and bring up a fourth and 19, and they have an injury. But we will just end up sending out Jake Elliott for about a 59-yard field goal. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and this one will be good. We're up 31-6. to the Steelers really needing to pull off a miracle in this game right now. It's a third and eight as we start the fourth quarter. A possible three and out. He's throwing this one to the outside. That is caught, but he steps out of bounds for a fourth and two, but I imagine they will go for this. They'll come back out in a shotgun set again. Najee Harris is in the backfield. From the 33-yard line, Jones will look to pass. It's a quick throw to the outside. That is going to be caught, and they have the quick and easy first down. However, just a few plays later, they now face a fourth and 14 from their own 33. Jones out of shotgun, will drop back to pass, going downfield, that'll be caught, but it will not be a first down, and it's a turnover on downs. 
But now we face a third and four at our own 40 yard line and a pistol set. It's a handoff to Brees Hall right up the middle and they will not give him the first down. Fourth and inches. So we will once again send out Jake Elliott. This one for about a 42 or a 42 and a half yard field goal. The snap, the hold, the kick is away and this one will be good. It is now 34 to six. They are down by 28 points. But now they have finally managed to drive back deep into Jets territory at the 14 yard line. Jones at a shotgun will drop back and dropping farther back under a lot of pressure. He's getting sacked on the play by Jermaine Johnson to bring up a second and 21. They come back out in a five wide set. Jones will take the snap and stand in the pocket. He's once again under a lot of pressure, but this time will just throw it away. Lucas Van Ness was breathing down the back of his neck. Now it's going to be a third and 21. Jones back in shotgun. He'll take the snap, obviously looking to pass downfield. He's going to let this one go deep to the end zone, and that is going to be knocked away by Anton Lane. But they will go for this one with 5.55 to go on a fourth and 21. Jones out of a shotgun set will drop back to pass. He's going to let this one go down the sideline. That one will be caught and set up a first and goal at the one thanks to George Pickens. So they might actually end up getting a garbage time touchdown here. First and goal from about the half yard line. Jones out of shotgun. It's a toss play to Najee Harris to the outside and he'll dive but not get into the end zone. No gain. Now he's going to come out under center. It's a handoff to the backup running back who goes to the outside and he gets brought down by C.J. Mosley. So now it's a third and goal. Apparently the defense really wants to keep them out of the end zone still on third and goal handoff to Najee Harris But we won't keep him out there touchdown Steelers But that will now officially send us to the Super Bowl The only points that were added following that Steelers touchdown They would go for an onside kick and not get it We would end up in field goal range and add a garbage time field goal with Jake Elliott Which makes the final score 37 to 13 And Jared McDonald had a really solid day 18 for 25 252 yards and two touchdowns on the ground, Brees Hall ran for 110 yards and two scores of his own. And then receiving Jalen Waddle got a touchdown and Brendan Rice got a touchdown. But Garrett Wilson had a pretty solid day as well. Over on defense, it looks like Dexter Atkins, our rookie defensive tackle, and Malik Hooker both led the team in tackles. In sacks, Dexter Atkins got two, Jermaine Johnson got two, and then Quinnen Williams and Lucas Van Ness shared one. Interceptions, we got zero today. And then Mac Jones had a really, really bad day. His stat line looks solid. But you guys heard the stats at the start of the video. He had a horrendous start. 21 for 37, 252 yards. Then on the ground, Najee Harris only ran for 42 yards and a touchdown. Receiving Lad McConkey, 8 for 96, was really their only receiver to show up consistently in this game. So obviously our game ended up being a blowout, but the NFC Championship was a hard-fought defensive battle that the Cowboys were able to escape with the win 10 to 7. So that is who we will get to play in this year's Super Bowl. That will obviously take place in the next episode, and looking at the overall ratings, we have a pretty solid advantage, but if you've played Madden 24, you know in simulation the Dallas Cowboys are absolutely insane, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you next time in the Super Bowl.